the Incas left behind many amazing structures and creations that are still standing today, like Saxe Huaman, Machu Picchu, Alentay Tambo, and so much more. They were known for their incredible stonework, but what we re gonna talk about today is how the Incas built highways with gravity tools. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to look at how the Incas built highways with gravity tools. But before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new videos. And if you enjoy the video, then please give it a like. Let's begin. It seems unbelievable, but some scientists believe that the Incas did not use any kind of tools or machinery to cut and move stones. Instead, they used gravity. How could they have possibly done this? Well, let's take a look at some of the roads they built. There are several roads that are attributed to the Incas that are still in use today. One of them is the Road of the Incas, which is also called the Inca Trail. This road stretches 43 kilometers from the capital city of Cusco, all the way to the famous lost city of Machu Picchu. It is a popular tourist destination because it is considered one of the world's most scenic hiking trails. The trek usually takes four days, and it attracts about 500,000 visitors each year. Some people choose to hike it, and others choose to ride on horseback. But no matter how you choose to do it, you'll be amazed at the views and history surrounding you. Another interesting road was discovered by archaeologists in northern Peru in 2017. They found an ancient road that connected two pre-Columbian settlements, one of which was built around 800 AD and the other around 1400 A between these two. Settlements was a distance of 64 kilometers. But if you thought that was impressive, wait till you hear about the Royal Highway. This highway is over 300 miles long and connects the Peruvian highlands to the Amazon. It's one of the longest roads in South America. But how did the Incas build such large roads? What type of technology did they have? There are several theories out there, but let's look at the most popular one. The theory basically states that the Inca s used ropes made from a plant called Ichu grass to move giant rocks. It sounds crazy, but it makes sense when you think about the fact that they didn't use any metal tools. To understand how this would work, we need to learn a little bit about the plants. I choose grass. It's a type of grass that grows in the Andes Mountains. It has a long history of being used by humans for making rope, mats, hats, and many other useful items. The Incas probably learned this from their ancestors who lived in the region before them. The interesting thing about this particular type of grass is that it can grow to be incredibly strong. It has a high tensile strength, meaning that it can withstand a lot of weight before it breaks. Some sources say that the ropes made from this grass can hold up to 30 tons of weight. That's pretty incredible. So how exactly would they have used these ropes to move the rocks? We don't know for sure, but one theory is that they used a system of pulleys and levers. This is just a guess, but it's the only thing that makes sense. Using ropes alone wouldn't be easy. You couldn't just tie a rope around a rock and pull it like a sled. There would need to be some sort of mechanism in place to help move the rocks, something like a pulley system. Pulleys are simple machines that consist of a wheel and a rope. They're used to change the direction of force. When you pull on the rope, it moves the pulley, which in turn moves the object that's attached to it. Levers are another simple machine that can be used to move heavy objects. They consist of a rigid bar that pivots on a fixed point called a fulcrum. The Incas probably used both pulleys and levers in combination with each other to move the rocks. They may have used a system of ropes and pulleys to lift the rocks off the ground and then use levers to move them into place. But why would they have used this method? Why not just carve the stones with a regular tool? Well, the thing is, we haven't found any evidence of stone tools. Even though the Incas were excellent stonemasons, we haven't found any chisels, hammers, or any other tools that would have been used for carving stone. There are some stone tools that have been found, but they re very crude, 
and would not have been able to create the intricate designs that the Inca S created. They would have needed something much sharper than these. What is even more amazing is that the Incas were able to move huge boulders weighing up to 50 tons without using wheels. The Incas didn't invent the wheel until very late in their civilization, if they ever invented it at all. There are some theories out there that say the Incas never used the wheel, but there isn't much evidence to support that. Either way, they must have had some incredible engineering skills to be able to move those boulders without using wheels. There are some other theories out there as well. One of them says that the Incas used sound to move the stones. There's a story about how the Incas built the pyramids at Saxihomen. According to legend, an Inca emperor ordered his engineers to build a pyramid just like the ones he had seen in Egypt. They worked day and night to complete the pyramid, but they were struggling to move the stones into place. Just when they were about to give up, one of the workers had an idea. He started singing a special song that supposedly had magical powers. As the workers joined in, the stones began to move as if by magic. The legend goes on to say that once the pyramid was complete, the workers buried the song so that no one would ever find it. If this story is true, then the Incas may have used sound to move the stones. Maybe they discovered that certain frequencies could cause the stones to vibrate, which would have made it easier to move them. Another theory is that the Incas used water to move the stones. There are some stories about how the Incas used canals and aqueducts to move rocks. It's said that they would divert the flow of a river and then use the water pressure to move the stones. This would make sense since water can be a powerful force. It's not as strong as a rope made of ichu grass, which could move 30 tons. Still, it might have helped them move the stones. These are just theories. There's no real evidence to support any of them. It is amazing to think that the Incas were able to build such impressive roads and structures without using any modern tools or technology. Whatever methods they used, they were truly ingenious. The Incas were an advanced civilization that lived in South America before the Spanish arrived. Their capital city, Cusco, was located in the heart of the Andes Mountains. The Incas ruled over a vast empire that stretched from Ecuador to Chile. At its peak, the Inca Empire was home to over 10 million people. The Incas were known for their advanced knowledge of astronomy and their skill in engineering and architecture. They built impressive roads, bridges, and buildings, including the famous Inca Trail and the lost city of Machu Picchu. Unfortunately, the Inca Empire was destroyed by the Spanish conquistadors in the 16th century. Most of the Incas were killed or enslaved, and their culture was nearly wiped out. But despite the tragic end of the Inca Empire, their legacy lives on through their descendants and in the ruins of their once great cities. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please give it a like and share it with your friends. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos. And be sure to leave us a comment below to let us know what you thought. We look forward to seeing you next time.